three, two, one. Time for another round of a feature we started last month on this program. Our Broken Independent Media camera people have been very busy lately inquiring people on the street for their TV taste buds. We've got a person ready to go. His name is Chris McFarlane. So tell us, Chris, what are you watching? Currently, I am still watching The Walking Dead, and I am painfully making it through the end of Sons of Anarchy. And my question for Simon is what percentage of shows after the third season go through writer's strikes and full rewrites to save the rest of their contract? So to answer your question, in the case of Writers Guild, very few shows beyond their third season have writer's issues unless the entire Writers Guild of America goes on strike. And we've had that, by the way. Remember back in, oh, 2008, we had a Writers Guild strike? Well, here's the deal. Writers have a contract with all the various broadcasting cable networks covering all dramatic programs. So it's not an individual program that can go on strike. It's everybody. And it has happened rarely in the last, oh, I'd say, as I mentioned, six two thousand. Eight. So far, and the, by the way, the writers have a current contract that I believe runs until 2016, 2017. So you don't have to worry, Chris. Your favorite shows are, as far as their uh, scripted goes, your favorite shows, no problem going beyond their third season. In fact, Walking Dead, as you mentioned, is already in its fifth season. And that fifth season comes back in February on AMC. Uh, by the way, there's separate Writers Guild contracts for live action programming, specials, news, and sports. And like the dramatic programs or comedy, they're also two, three-year, multi-year contracts. And currently, uh, the contract, I believe, for them also runs till about 2016, 2017. Oh, incidentally, a few weeks ago, we had in this feature a question about MTV and music videos and when are they going to play them. And I mentioned that, well, with MTV, it's not that they don't play music videos. They don't play them in prime time. They play them in the morning or in the afternoons. But if you're serious about where you can find music videos if you're not happy with MTV, there are quite a few places. There's Fuse, there's your local cable system through Video On Demand, DirecTV and uh, Dish also have Video On Demand with a lot of music video programming. In fact, music videos are among the top Video On Demand attractions, no matter whether it's cable or satellite. And also you can find individual music channels like the Cool TV, uh, Country Network, Vivo and Zook available on broadcast stations with their digital signals or through your local cable or satellite operator. You gotta check hard, particularly with video on demand, for where you can find them. And usually when it's video on demand, the videos are played 24 seven and new videos are added all the time. So I hope that answered the MTV question quite fully. So remember, uh, we'd like to hear more from you. By the way, uh, do you have an idea for what we should title this feature? We're still waiting. We've done this now for about a month, and we still don't have a title. I like the idea of TV Taste Buds. Justin Bryant, our producer director, thinks what you're watching. But I want you to hear from you. What do you think we should name this feature? We have a good time with it, and we have more coming, by the way. We'll have another one next week. So let me know, and let BIM know, too. So email me, simonapple04 at yahoo.com. at simonapple04 at yahoo.com. You'll also find me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. That's uh, hashtag at UBC Simon TWBT. That's at UBC Simon TWBT. My Twitter hashtag, by the way, is different from the hashtag we use for the classic trivia question of the week. Or you can mail, email Brooklyn Pennant Media here, find them on Facebook also, got a great Facebook page, or follow them on Twitter too. But we'd love to hear from you, and let's see if we, by the end of the year, we can name this feature. I love it. And so the people here at Brooklyn Pennant Media, we've already got a couple of nice Facebook comments on it, so uh, find out another one coming your way next week. And Chris, thank you again for the wonderful question. And again, I hope that you're doing okay post-Sons of Anarchy.